the OMG WTF blog, which can be found at massiveunderstatement.com. And I believe that link is on my website, OM, OMG WTF, Melinda Wang. And uh, this is a race to eight. Hi, Daniel. Hi, barbecue. You back. I am back. I want to thank everybody for coming to check out the stream here on Point of View Pool, povpool.com. Yes, and tell her your, all your friends to come too. We're having a party, a POV, POV pool party. POV pool party, that's right, folks. All weekend long, all night, all day. That's right. And just, uh, I just want to mention to all of you who are watching the stream that uh, I'm basically up here working for peanuts. So if you uh, want to make a donation to POV pool, feel free to go to my website and click on the donate button. Because we need a second camera. That's right, we need a second camera, we need uh, gas money. We need software, we need, uh, <laughs> you name it, we need it. No, I tell you what, the more money you make, the more money you spend. That's right. Well, you just put it all back. You just put it all back into the, into the business, you know? It's true, it's true. We just want to make this better. Better and better and better. Better and better and better. You got it. Uh, beer money? John no, Holmes no, no beer money. Somebody beer said beer money. money. I actually don't drink, so. Yeah, and I don't like so beer, don't so. I don't know. Right. Don Espinosa is saying mo money, mo problems. Yeah. Is that right? Well, I could handle those kind of problems, yeah, maybe. Bring it on. <laughs> All right, guys. George Michaels versus Melinda Wang. Yeah, there's going to be a. This is. I'm excited. I told. I told Melinda. To uh, to beat George like she beat me in the Tad Cup. Oh, I was I was talking about her finish at the Tad last year. Yeah, well, the only difference is though, is I had to give Melinda, I believe it was the eight ball and the breaks. So, or maybe it was just the eight ball. Yeah, know. well, she was playing good that tournament. I'll tell you what, she's. Now you missed the story that I told about Alex Pagalion. I was talking to him before this let this match that we just did, and. Uh, I was mentioning something about maybe he should come on the uh, and commentate. Uh -huh. And he told me the story of what happened to him in the Philippines in 2007 during the world champ or some big championship. ESPN kept wanting him to come commentate, and they would pay him. Yeah. And he said no, 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 no. And finally, he got out of the tournament, and they they twisted his arm and had him come on. Yeah. And he said the problem is is. He curses every other word, and he can't, he can't stop himself. And he said, I only did it once, and they never asked me back. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It was well, pretty funny to hear him tell the story. Yeah, it was well, like, there you go, folks. There's another reason to donate to POV Pool, so that I can pay Alex Pagalion to commentate on our stream. Oh, well, you might have to have the bleeper going, though, yeah, you know? Well, I don't have a bleeper. i got to buy one of those, too. So... Here we go. It looks like uh, it looks like George might be able to squeeze the five, or he might be playing. The I combo don't think. I don't know. It's hard to tell. And he's playing the combo. Well, here we go. And he Safety gives it opportunity back. coming up for gives Melinda. It back to Melinda, yeah. You know, she's become a very methodical. Um, you know, she really does her outside of the box thinking. Yeah. Before she gets down on her shots. Uh, just a second, folks. I've uh, I got some out, uh, room audio that i got to try to deal with here. Yeah, it's um, pretty loud. It is pretty loud. So I don't know about how you guys just can. A I don't know how it sounds to you out there in the chat room. I, if some feedback would be good if it's too loud. It's a little loud for us here in the booth. Okay, good. Well, the we got we got quite a bit of music, so I was just trying to find out is the, is there is the music too loud for you? Okay, good. It, it all seems to be all right. The uh, 
The chat room has responded that the music's not a problem, so. Those of you not familiar with Melinda, um, she will take a lot of time on her shots. We don't expect this to be a short duration match unless this opponent of hers is a fast player. Because she, right. she's going to be very careful. Well, Melinda's created some distance here. And yes, made she it has. Tough for George. Played a very good shot. He's got to he's got to thin this five, and hopefully play the same safety back. Yeah, and that's exactly what he's done. Although he has left enough of it, if she cares to try to go for this shot, but the cue ball. Well, it's going to be a little hard because she's on close to the rail and she's got the nine ball. Yeah, this is no to candy. contend with. If I were her, I'd really consider just creating a safety situation. Maybe use that nine ball as a uh, as a blocker to hide behind. So apparently, George Michaels is from Chicago. Didn't know that. She actually tried to cut that ball. I don't know. I don't think she did. You think? I think she did. I'm not, Maybe. Well, we'll have to ask her. Now, maybe at some point, what we can do is, you know, we'll, we'll have these backpack mic things for the players, and then they'll talk to us while they're shooting and say, well, now what I'm going to do next is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or we can, we can talk into their, that, that'd be a sh the ultimate sharking. Did you really mean to play the shot that way? Or <laughs> yeah. Probably would not work. All right, okay. George looks like he's uh, going to clean this rack up. He's played good speed here. Yep. And looks like he's going to take this first rack down. It certainly does. All right, and well, does it. and he's on the wire. It's 1-0 in a race to eight, folks. It's going to be a long race unless... George stays at the table the majority of the time. So get some popcorn, join the POV pool party, get some hot streaming coffee and some hot steaming popcorn. There you go. Doesn't that sound good, right, man? I've just had a hankering for popcorn That's lately. That's right. We'd also like to thank our sponsors, Kamui. Kamui. And not to mention live player statistics and uh, shot reporting from um, pool tracks pool tracks you can check out you can check out all the statistics for all these players that are on the stream at pool tracks that's right don espinosa our stat man all right I'm not really sure if this is going to change the pace of the game for either of them because the music has just kind of started. That's right. Just as their match started. That's so. right. So uh, I'm kind of enjoying it, but I'm also not playing. So, although I'm used to it, you know, while you're playing, having the music it doesn't yeah. really bother me. Well, we notice Melinda does have her own earphones in. Oh yeah, she always plays with those. So the problem is though, in in on the women's tour, and. Uh, even the regional tours, you're not allowed to, to wear those. And I would hate to get used to something like that and then not be able to wear it yeah. uh, during an important event. It would be a little awkward. That's why I choose not to get used to anything that I can't bring with me. Yeah, I tried to uh, implement the headphones as sort of a tool for pool playing, but then, you know, I'd show up with my headphones and then I'd find out that they weren't allowed, so I stopped doing it. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to get get used to something and then to rely on it. That's dangerous. All right, so he played a push out here. 
This is rack number two in a race to eight. Yeah. The score is 1 0. And I don't know how Melinda plays in those heels. She does tend to wear some higher heels, but maybe because of her height that it helps. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's just got, she's gotten used to it. I think she even ran after a mugger in those shoes. Get out. Yeah, and caught him. No way. Yeah, she's... You Good go for her, her. Go to her blog, massiveunderstatement.com. She's... Good the, for the her. The story is there somewhere. Wow. Yeah, she was uh, some purse snatcher... Oh, for Grabbed heaven's her sake! Purse while she was on the bus, a public bus, and she she ran got after off the bus him, huh? and ran right after him. Wow, nice did shot! You see that shot? That was a great shot! She got a little lucky. I think she played it off the two. I think she did too. That was a good shot. Well, Melinda's just got to slow roll this ball and just make sure she's not on too high up the table. And and guess what? Ball. Guess what I learned? Guess what I learned about uh, Jeff Gregory? No, no, someone in our one of our earlier matches. Uh, that's why I was looking for the sheets here. Okay, Mike Gilmore? Uh, nope. Rafael Martinez? Robert Aldana. Oh, okay. That he is also into karaoke like Alex Pagalion. Well, yeah, I was telling you. No, Jeff was telling me that the guy sings like out of this world. He sings great. Angel Levine just released uh, some previews of a documentary she's been working on with uh, Robert Aldana singing karaoke. It was great. Well, first I heard it, Jeff was telling me that he, for hours, uh, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't know, though. I didn't know. Maybe I heard you, but didn't. Yeah, he plays a little guitar. He's got some pipes on him. Good player. And a good singer. All right. Well, it looks like Melinda... Nope, she's tied up the 5-6, and... Yeah, unforced error, but it looks like Melinda might be okay. George doesn't have a clear shot. No, he doesn't. And we now have a little bit of a strange rack going on. All right, so Melinda looks like she's got a cut on the four ball. She she can see most of the four, but not. Yeah, I think she can make this. She uh, she missed it, but she, you know, this is sort of an unintentional safety battle happening here. Well, it's nine ball. That happens. She's semi-hooked on the four ball. Yeah, she is. Well, back and it's a guess what? Save battle. battle. Well, let's see if she can uh, see if she can put George Michaels in jail here. Looks like she might just kick the four ball up table and maybe try to keep the cue down table there. Uh, using the nine ball as a blocker. Yeah. Well, 
whatever she does, she's going to look at it for a little while, make sure. Yeah, she plays, you know, she plays a slow play, slow pace. Uh, it takes a lot of time to make sure she's playing the right shot, which can be very difficult for the opponent. And uh, has, in many scenarios, worked in her favor. True. However, here's the problem with that that can occur, depending on how far she goes with her game. When you start getting in to those pro tournaments, they're going to put a 30-second shot clock on you. You are not going to be allowed to play that slow. Yeah, that is one of the differences between, uh, you know, many professional events and these independent tournaments. Okay, well, here we go. Yeah, well. George had an open shot and... Oh. Well, Precisely slow play could begin type, to him. The type of example that I'm talking about, yeah, is that, you know, the slow play can really affect a person's game. But believe me, that 30-second shot clock, you better be able to play quickly. Mm. It's actually quite a bit of time, but if you're not used to it, oh, boy. I actually like the 30-second shot clock myself. And wish it would be sometimes used a little bit more. Because there's just some tournaments where... It so holds up things, okay, you know. good safety by Melinda. Yeah, she says smart play. Now, where have I seen George before? Have we seen him down at, at in Bellflower? It's possible, but he mostly, we saw him at the Chuck Markoulis tournament. Oh, that I did see him in there. In October last year. Yeah. Cross side, was hoping to, to have it go into the pocket and the, he's left an open rack here now for Melinda. See if she can work her way through the rest of this rack. So far, so good. Pocket this six, come right back up for this uh, eight in the side. Automatic position on each of these shots. Yeah, I think she's gonna do okay here. Came a little further than she wanted to, but and she can just stop the cue ball pretty much right there. She'll be fine. There you go. Looks like she's going to get on the wire here. Yep, it does. And there you have it. All right, In one one. Very on good. Wire, here we go. We got a match. Score is now one to one. We got a match. POV pool party here at the California Billiard Club for the That's third right. annual Chet Edo Memorial in glorious, beautiful Mountain View, California. And uh, incidentally, folks, if you also like One Pocket, there's a One Pocket stream happening right now, Fast Lenny's website, ontherail.ontherailtv.com. Uh, Scott Frost is actually in the middle of a match with. Uh, let me just double check here. Oh, that'll be that'll be good. Joe Watson, nice. In a race to two. And if sure you should check out on the rail TV, I will put the link in my chat window. Awesome. Fast Lenny streaming his monthly one pocket tournament. And if you're a one pocket or a ten ball fan, um, be sure to contact uh, California Billiard Club here and sign up for later this month. 
or April, I'm sorry, April 26th through the 29th. That's right, the West Coast Challenge. The West Coast Challenge with uh, both one pocket and the 10 ball tournaments. The field is limited to 64 players for the one pocket tourney and 128 for the 10 ball. So sign up early and guarantee your spot. You're gonna love this place if you've never been here. Completely worth coming here just to experience it. All right, Melinda just missed a shot on the one. George now coming to the table. I do remember him now that you mention it at the uh, Sacramento Chuck Markoulis tourney. And yeah, he's a good player. I think I actually have some still shots of him that I took. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. He's off and running. Looks like he's a he's a fair his pace is fairly quick. Definitely a lot different than Melinda's. Yeah, he's a good player. I fully expect him to run this out. Uh, you know, obviously he looks like he's playing tentatively though. He's kind of taking his time, which is which is to be expected when you know your opponent beats you Ab in a game. Absolutely. You start to take things a little more seriously. I finally see Mary Raken over at the table over here. I hadn't seen her. Every time I looked over there, uh, her opponent was shooting. I don't know what the score is, though. I can't see from here. Oh. All right, good shot on the seven there. All right, well, it looks like he's going to clean this rack up. Put it pretty short order here. It's perfect on the nine. Good cue ball control. And there you have it. 2-1. That'll make the score. George Michaels versus Melinda Wang. I see Ernesto, Dermi Ernesto Domingos. Oscar's dad is playing down on uh, one of the tables on the other side here. Hot in a match. Trying to see if I can figure out who he's playing. Might need my binoculars, this place is so big. I know, right? 15,000 square feet. And there's a full bar here, full menu. A great menu. That's right. You can hear the jukebox in the background. And it's pretty full here today. Right. We got bar boxes here, weekly tournaments. Got a snooker table. Two snooker tables. Yeah. Foosball. Three snooker tables, actually. Air hockey. Uh, what else? And uh, we also got a billiard table and some foosball. Oh, I love foosball. All right, Melinda at the table after a dry break from George. She does have an open shot at this one. She needs to bring the cue ball. She's gonna draw, try to draw the cue ball back down here for the two. Unfortunately, ran into the four, pocketed the four in the corner, and has not left herself a shot on the two ball. Other than a bank, but I don't see her playing the bank. I see her trying to play safe here. I think she's going to feather this two and uh, I think, I don't know, we'll see what she does. She could feather the two, bring the cue ball back down, possibly underneath the three at the other side of the table. She could go for the bank, leave the cue up at this end of the table and possibly behind the nine if she misses on a two-way shot. 
a couple of different ways to go here. She'll probably do the one I didn't mention, which is go on the uh, other side of the two. Yep, that's what she did. I'm gonna be behind the five. That's a good. So shot. there was three different three different ways you could have gone about that. I think she effectively pulled off the third choice. Okay, it's just been handed down to me that uh, our next match is going to be Rodney Morris versus Josh Corioso. Don't know anything about Josh Corioso. Maybe in the chat room I can get some Yeah, more. maybe the chat room will let us know. All right, so George is going to jump this five and go into the two. Let's see if he pulls this off. I expect him to hit it. And scratches. Let's give Melinda, gives Melinda. Melinda could go for this two nine. I don't know whether she will or not. Or she could has a wide open rack to for the run. ball in hand on this open rack so it's really a matter of choice here looks like she's going to go for the run out we'd sure like to thank uh, Chris Swart here at California Billiard Club for bringing us here to stream for everybody. Definitely um, someone who is trying to promote the world of billiards. Yeah, you know, hats off to, I'm not wearing a hat, but hats off to Chris Swart. That's uh, right. Who is the owner of California Billiard Club here in Mountain View. Provide us a, a great area here to stream. We've got plenty of room. Absolutely. It's really and, nice. You know, putting up $3,000 for a $50 entry fee. Not only do you, is it only $50 to get into this tournament, you get a free t-shirt for the Chet Ito tournament. That was one of my favorite parts about playing the Chet Ito last year was that free t-shirt that I, I got. I wasn't even expecting it. Exactly. I, I think it's just terrific. She just played a really good safety on George. She's going to make him work for this match, I can yeah, tell you that. She's playing good safeties. So Absolutely I'm, she know. is. He's going to jump the seven, hope to run into the three, and possibly make the nine on this if he gets lucky, gets a good roll. Yeah, it's a, a or lot leave. Of, a, a lot of unknown variables. Well, yeah. whenever you're jumping, yes. And now look at what the opportunity she has here. She's looking at it right now. You got the 3-9. A couple of different ways. I can't tell from this angle, but it looks like she could have a carom opportunity. You might be a little closer to it on your side there, Daniel. Yeah, she's got a carom possibility, but it's, you know, she it's could an also hard She could also slide the one into the 9. There the might be a built-in safety in this shot, so could she, be. she might go. I think you know, she's she, going to go, go for it, for sure. Cut, but I don't like cutting it because, you know, if you miss that 3-9 combo, you leave the 9 near the pocket. That's and true. And the 3 stays there, yeah, too. Yeah, that's right. You're right. So I like caroming this. I agree. And, uh, and, and bumping the uh, three-ball backup table. Exactly. And so does she. Very nice shot. And very nice attempt. You know, that, that's the exact, very close. without making the nine ball, that's the exact result that I would expect. That's right. Now George, is, George is probably going to carry him in this seven ball off the three now. 
But in the meantime, she's left the cue ball down here, close to the rail, you know. Yeah, well, she's at a just, distance. She's played a better percentage, you know. She's played a much better percentage than than uh, actually trying to play that combo, which is not only a hard shot, but just the the missing of that combo. All right, oh. that went clean by yeah, that, that seven. Right okay. By. Well, we'll see how he handles the rest of this rack. He uh, errored out last rack. All right. He well, may not I think do George, that. George might be out here. Yeah. He, well, he should be. You know, she played. She played the right shot. Yes, yeah, she did. She just. She really kind of just needed to make that nine. <laughs> just get it over with. You know? Yeah. Well, it was very close. You know, that's all, always the consequences of, of uh, missing a shot is yeah. you're always leaving the table up to your opponent. All right. Well, he's successfully gone gone through the rest of this rack. And that'll do it. That's going to be uh, three two, to one. Three to one. Three to one, but we got a long way to go here. It's yes, a race we to eight. certainly do. We have such a long way to go that I'm going to take a very short break. No problem. And I will be back. If you would like me to scout for for future commentators to jump in, Actually, I shall I do, do so. I would like to have uh, John Henderson join us in the uh, booth if he's not in a match, which I see that he might be getting started with. Okay. Uh, anybody so else you I want me to round up? I wouldn't worry about it, but if you happen happen to run into anybody, maybe Bob Bolio or someone Scott, like that. Scott? Scott White? Already asked him. Okay. Uh, so uh, we'll be okay. All right. I'll just be on the lookout. Thank you. Kind of like Motel 6. We'll leave the light on for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't know anything about Motel 6. I think maybe i better take a break. <laughs> See you all in a few, folks. All right, George uh, made a ball, two balls on the break, and he's got a shot on the one. Spins around. Got a nice line on the three. Probably go up and down for the five ball in the bottom right corner. Good speed. It looks like he might have played that too slow, but he's got the shot. Nice work. Thread the needle between the eight and the nine there. Okay, George has probably found himself in the toughest situation on this rack. Almost straight and almost against the rail. Let's see what he does. Oh wow, well you gotta make the ball. Sure. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got a surprise. Yes. Mary Rankin's gonna join us on the stream. All right, your volume's still down, so don't worry about it. We're good. <laughs> All right, folks, I'm gonna turn her volume up. And everybody, let's welcome Mary Rankin. How you doing? Hey, I played horrible, though. <laughs> I just got done with my match. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, By the way, my name is Daniel. Yeah, hi, Mary. Uh, I saw you here a couple weeks ago, just kind of observing the World PPA warm-up oh, event. Oh, yeah, I didn't play. Yeah. I was working, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, uh, I got today off, so... Well, that's good. Yeah. Good. So you're off. You you work weekends sometimes. Or? Um. Yeah, I work every day, and then Saturday I work at a bank, so I get off at two, which I can't make it. Well, my matches start to like three or four, so maybe I could have made it. But yeah, usually on the weekends. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's nice to meet you, yeah. and finally, you know, because I I've seen you. Uh, I saw you play at the Chuck Makulis tournament. Yeah. And uh, you know, you did very well there. Yeah. Wow. Look at George. Wow. Look at this. No. Okay. But it's on the rail. I don't yeah. know. It's frozen to the rail. And, uh, you know, and I've been hearing a lot about you. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's, it's an honor to have you here. Thank so. you. And I hope you do well in this, although you said uh, you're not playing well right now. I haven't been playing whatsoever, so I wanted to do it because I knew um, the for former owner, Chet, and he was a great guy. So I yeah. try to make it at these tournaments, you know, in honor of him. This is a great pool room that he created. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice shot. Yeah, yeah just so you knew Chet. I knew Chet personally, yeah. He, yeah. I've been knowing him for a long time. It's yeah, sad. did he ever teach you anything about pool? Um, somewhat. Like, he let us play for free, me and my siblings. But uh, I always played against him, though, in tournaments, and it was hard to beat him. He was, <laughs> was a great play He was a great player. Okay, Very there you good. go. Nice shot. Oh, there we go. Melinda is loosening the gap a little bit. It's 3-1, uh, but now it's 3-2 in a race to 8. Nice. Do you play pool so. yourself? Oh yeah, I play pool. I play pool since I was, you know, like five, five oh, years you old. Been playing actually, a long time. actually, I played snooker for about seven years. I'm from Great Britain originally, oh. and I played snooker for about seven years before I even saw an American pool table. A lot of pool, like Allison Fisher, Karen, Gore, they all come from snooker background, though, and they yeah they play phenomenal. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I didn't really, you know, when I came to the United States. I started playing pool, American pool, in the boys' club, and the girl, boys and girls' yeah. club, and after-school curriculums and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't really start being a serious player until I was about 19 or 20. Oh. And, uh, and, you know, what I mean by serious is kind of like getting into action and gambling. You know? and, yeah, no. And unfortunately, I got, I got, you know, beat so many times that I actually <laughs> walked away from the game for almost six or seven years. Oh, wow. You know, so but I'm I'm back and oh. now I'm just streaming, so and I a lot of people they always they ask me, Oh, can you teach me? And it's like it's not all about teaching, it's just like watch how people play and then figure it out like a puzzle. Just figure it out. Yeah. And then see what they do. And then yeah. you learn from there and then you try it. Go ahead. Well now you must be in your like early 20s, right? Like 21, 20, 23. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm getting up there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm turning 24 in two weeks. So. No kidding. Yeah. No kidding. So. Uh, but you know, actually, I I did I played the Chuck the same Chuck event. Yeah, that because you played. You I came in 17 through yeah, 24. Yeah, I, I see, like you look familiar. I wasn't sure. You know how you meet someone and it's like, are, is that them? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because I'm bad with names. I'm good with faces, but it's like ah, yeah. something I need to work on definitely. Yeah, well, I I gotta say, I'm glad I didn't match up with you. That's for sure. <laughs> I think you would have loved it. I played like. <laughs> oh really? My I had to play against my friend. He was just I haven't played him in years, and he was really making me like just sit down. It was pretty good. So have you ever played Melinda here? Yes, I have. I love playing her, actually. It's like, it cons, 
there's no pressure because we both know each other from since we were younger, actually. Yeah. And then um, it's fun. She doesn't. She's serious, but at the same same time, jokes around a little bit. So okay. that's how I am too. Yeah. It's not like one of those. It's good to be serious, but then sometimes it's like, don't be too stubborn. A little, you know. There's some people yeah. like that out in this world. Well, I know. I know she likes to get into action. Have you ever gotten into action with her? That never really. Or do you a even get into action much, or no? Are you more of a tournament I'm a, player? I'm a tournament player, but a lot of people. The only time I get in the box is with is when um someone asks me to play, right? Or if I don't like the person, <laughs> I'm like okay. <laughs> but um no, a lot of people they're ask me is like oh why don't you play this girl from LA blah blah and I'm like who are you talking about? Uh huh. And she was like oh name Juan. I'm like I know her. But I don't, like, it's a, with me, I don't know if it's her too, like, we don't play against friends or, it's kind of like that. Yeah. I, for me, yeah. it is. But if, if anything, if it was just like a challenge match, like, just, there's no, um, how do I say it? No harm, not no harm, but if someone was putting up the money, her or me, and it's like friendly, nothing sure. against each other, then yeah, yeah, yeah. of course, I I think it'll be a good match. Well, something that's prearranged, you know, is uh, it's almost like yeah. you know, being asked to play in a tournament or something. Yeah, exactly. So, so there should be no harm. It's all like she's a great player. I I think I played I played her here though for the women's tournament. Melinda. Yeah. So. So. Uh, would you? I mean, do you, do you, if you, you just play her if you just play her outside of a tournament. You play her even, or does she ask you for anything, or I don't know. <laughs> you kind of wait. She never, she never asked me. I never asked her. It'd yeah. probably be even because she is a good player. Like she is a good. Player. She's a great shot maker. Like mm -hmm. she doesn't care. She just pounds them. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I was giving her the eight ball in uh, the Tad Cup in Bellflower, oh. and she, and she beat me. You know. <laughs> huh. And I actually, I've actually played her several times. Oh yeah. Um. You know, in several different tournaments, because I'm also from Southern California. Yeah. So. Oh, so you see her quite often then. What's up? Do you see her quite often in Southern California? Well, or is yeah. Because I, I know there's hard, the hard times of Belfar, and then there's is and the Hollywood there's, still going. Like, Hollywood Billiards is no more. No, no more. I no. thought they were renovating it. They turned they turned it into a place called the 5750 Spot, oh. and now it's just a private nightclub. Oh, God, they're going nuts. <laughs> oh, the chat room's creating action now. They want to see a money match. Mary versus Melinda. Uh, no, you know Spanky, what, what have you started? I know, oh, wait a minute, like, what have I started? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you did start. No, I, uh, when the Barana versus her in Vegas, you heard of that? I really thought, like, nothing against Barana. I know she's a great player. Uh -huh. But I thought Melinda had it because she has more experience gambling. And yeah. it was kind of like her home turf. Like, nobody really knew Barana and... What was the final of that? It was close. Like 20, was it 20, 21, 19 or something like that? Oh, wow. Wow. And it was, yeah, I think, for like three grand. It. Yeah. But, um. <laughs> oh, Bobby uh, Coquia anything, just jumped into the chat room. Bobby. Welcome back to the stream, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby Coquia is a really good player, um, but you know he in the past couple of years he got married and had a kid, oh, and so he has, doesn't play as much anymore. Congrats! Well, family is always a big plus. Well, yeah. Whatever stops you from playing is probably family, work, or school. Yeah, and not necessarily a bad thing. No, it's not. It's actually good. My, I don't know if you know my older sister Michelle. She. Um, she actually stopped playing, but she got she's getting her masters now, which is awesome. But yeah. Oh, nice. No, I'm just doing that. I'm not praying. Why am I praying? I was just going like this, <laughs> stretching my fingers. <laughs> Thank you, though. All right. Money so Melinda on here yeah, has a tough shot. Okay. She's gonna. Looks like she's gonna play safe. Most likely. She's been playing pretty good safety today. Yeah. She's just gonna thin the five and come around under. She's definitely she's definitely making George work for this. Oh, slow down! Wow, oh yeah, nice that try. was way too fast. I would have just 
try to thin it a little bit and gone around. And come around. Yeah, maybe bring but the that was a good the, shot too, though. Nine ball. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you think she might be nervous? Belinda, no. I don't yeah, think she right. gets well, ever. What am I talking about? I don't, <laughs> I don't think she plays like a total man. I don't think she ever gets nervous. <laughs> so. Well, you, you wouldn't believe it. Some of the some of the men actually come up to us later and they say, "Man, I was shaking. I was so nervous." Really? <laughs> come on, men can't be nervous. There he goes. Okay. So you got knocked out your first match, right? No, I Is won it, my first match. I just it. played horrible. Yeah. I, you know, with. Who did you play? My friend CJ. He uh, oh, he lives okay. around here. He improved so much. Like he's one of the people where you only give him like two years into it, and he's just running out. And it takes like years for some people. He's a good player. Arturo versus George. Why would that be hilarious? <laughs> George, uh, you know Arturo Rivera, right? Yes, I know uh, Arturo. He's a good player. He's very... Arturo Rivera hustled me out of like 300 bucks like when I was 19 years old oh. <laughs> at Hollywood Billiards. Oh, when no. When it used to be in the basement. Oh, wow. I always wanted to go there, but I was just... I was too young. Jeez, they won't play their friends. <laughs> Oh, Bob. Say Bob's hi. Bob's always taking pictures. That's why I'm Bob avoiding Bully him. Bob over here taking pictures. <laughs> Hello, Bob. Good player. Did you go to the Reno turn? Did you? I was at Reno. Yeah. You I think you were there, weren't no, you? No, I wanted to so bad, okay. though. I didn't enter any tournaments. I just, oh, I was in the World PPA event. Oh. But I didn't enter any of the bar box tournaments. Yeah. Mostly, I, honestly, I haven't been competing lately but just because... Uh, my game's gone down. I have, I've been streaming. Yeah. And I've been doing a lot of this stuff and really haven't been able to focus on playing the game. Yeah. You know? It sucks in a way. Like, you wish you want to play, but you have, like, duties. Yeah, do. yeah. But the frustration of competing sometimes, yeah. it's nice to take a break from that, you know? Yeah. I don't know, I just missed, like... You know, the admins, like, because you brought up Hollywood Billiards, I remember... Not that fall, but there's family, and then there's a fall on Daily City, and so many people will come every night. And now it's like, you know, kind of dying. It's sad in a way. Yeah, yeah. Mm. All right, well, George wins another rack, and it's now 4 to 2. Come on, Melinda. <laughs> Ready for the girls in this tournament. I know, right? Going want, for all the girls. You want the girls to win. Yeah. <laughs> We're dumb. There's only how many girls is in, in this tournament? Emily Collado, Melinda, Hillary, me. Is that it? Four? There's four of us versus... Uh, Hillary, Hillary Morris. Yeah. She just lost to um, Ulrich. Yeah. She's, she's from San Diego, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think she plays more of bar pool, though. I'm not entirely oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. George getting ready to break here. You know, it's going to be rack number seven. With George, he has his, um, something's wrong with his eye because he took a break for a long time. And he was talking to me, and I'm like, well, why are you not playing? And he's like, oh, my eye is like a lazy eye. I'm like, why? And then he's like, look at the right eye. I'm like, okay. So stay focused, and then I'll move down without. I would imagine that's so disturbing for your eye. How did that work? Yeah. Well, it's kind of like, uh, you know, uh, Sean Lane, he kind of uses one eye yeah. to sight with. And uh, another guy named Isaac Wooten, he was born with a cataract and he had a little operation and it was corrected. Yeah. But he sights with one eye, like, you know, just That's crazy. his head is turned. Yeah. And uh, we noticed another another person shooting like that today, sort of. So I've been I've been kind of like paying more attention to the way people sight, especially when I've been commentating mm. matches. That's just, that's difficult. Like I've seen the first time I seen someone shoot one handed, it was in Vegas. It was the bar table. Yeah. Well like he his hand was um I uh, something happened, but he doesn't. He only has one arm, mm -hmm. and it's like the elbow. But uh, 
He was shooting great, like killing. He was in the Masters too. Yeah. Running out, and I was like, wow. I give credit to them. And then like wheelchair competition, that Aaron, I mm, mm. he's good. I think he would have to give me like seven, eight, nine. He no <laughs> kidding. He plays great. <laughs> All right, here we go. Girl power. Melinda's back at the table. Yeah. And go real first and trying to thin it. She's looking at a kick safe, though. Yeah. This is kind of one of those one-pocket kicks, isn't it? Yep. No, oh, that works. That works out. Yeah. Now he's going to thin it and try to bring the cue ball down yeah. there near the seven. Before. Exactly. As long as you don't give him